take a trip. Pass some water. Pass some trees. Wait, don't you dare pass that. Pinch yourself, because this has happened. And it might not ever happen again. Well, not like this. Because this kind of trip happens only in Minnesota. Hand off to Cobb, he has the first and he's into the secondary. Off to the races, 20, 15, 10, touchdown! 47 yards! Coming in, you know, as a senior, highly recruited out of high school, you know, you come in and you, at your high school, you're that guy. And when I got here, it was kind of an eye-opening experience when you see other guys that's better than you. So, I mean, for me, it, it kind of humbled me just to sit on the bench and every Saturday watch my teammates go out there just knowing that I could contribute to the team, but it was just my job to find out how I could do it. And, and going into my junior year, you know, I just, I didn't want to ride the bench anymore. I, I was ready to help the team and, you know, coach gave me my opportunity and I just ran with it. Here's a handoff to Cobb, big hole, off to the races, may go, 40, 30 near sideline, 20, 15, 10, and forced out of bounds. I think the biggest thing has just been God and his grace that he's given me. And, and the health, just staying healthy, because that's the biggest thing. And Coach Kill just, you know, just not giving up on me, having faith in me, and just having confidence in me that I could get the job done. Back in the backfield, third and six, grammar to pass, looking right, ball is battered in the air, picked off! Damian Wilson is tackled at the 27-yard line! Damian's biggest strength is, is his willingness to do whatever it takes. He's really, uh, really transformed and has begun to really take football very seriously. I think that he sees that it, uh, it's starting to become a very viable option for him as far as a career path for him to uh, continue on to the next level. And I think that he's really taking his game to the next level as a result. As far as Minnesota coming after me, uh, it was a no-brainer. As soon as Savelle showed up on campus at Jones College, I knew where I was going. Playing with Juco it was really fun. I had a great group of guys around me. We learned the true meaning of team bonding then, because before that, you know, I had never like lived amongst my teammates or nothing like that. On second and eight, Eric Murray is back into the game for the first time. Back to pass and a sack. Blitzing is Damian Wilson, and he drops Austin Grammer back at the 49. In Minnesota, I already knew that David, he was here. And I knew they was going to tell me the truth about the school, tell me the truth about everything, everything behind the scenes. So I guess it was just honesty. Growing up, man, my mom and dad and auntie, they probably couldn't tell us apart. I mean, we did everything together, fight together, play basketball. I mean, we had older brothers, and they never wanted to come outside and play basketball with us. So me and Damien sometimes would play one-on-one -on -one football with one quarterback, and we'll both run a, a fade route every play and try to catch the ball over each other. And, just growing up, he's been like my brother, you know, my best friend. He's also my roommate and also my cousin. So, I mean, we do everything together. Uh, I wish I could say he was a clean roommate, but I can't, I can't lie to you guys. But uh, he's, a, he's a funny roommate. Uh, I don't know if you, you ever seen his Twitter or Instagram, all the videos that he posts. I'm always the man holding the camera when he doing his little singing videos. I should have bought you flowers. Let me die. Love you. What else? And I need you. Them being as competitive as they are, it's definitely shows uh, their their closeness and uh, having a great family. You know, their families travel well to the games, and so you see it's a close it's a close knit family. And um, I think those are the things that you see in those two every single day. After four days of lectures and studying, the students are ready to unwind. The sun is out, tailgating's in full force, and the calendar reads September. All that means we are truly now into the beginning stages of a wonderful college football season ahead. Chapter 2 for the Golden Gophers begins today. The game plan was just to execute offensively and not worry about Middle Tennessee much, but just do what we need to do to, to be successful on Saturday. That was the biggest emphasis that we had going into that week was trying to be more consistent offensively what we did 
uh, up front with the guys, with the receivers blocking in the run game, and then the quarterbacks in the throw game, and also all the receivers in the throw game. First and goal from the one. Hand off to Kirkwood. Hit, but still gets his way into the end zone. Right behind that line of Epi and Olsen and Bush, Kirkwood picks up his first touchdown of the season. On my interception, my guy ran the drag route. <laughs> he was running. I, at that point when I saw him running, I, didn't, I wanted to jump it anyways. But he hit the referee, and it just kicked ball floated right into my hands, and it was just a, a walk-in after that. Just stepped in front of it. Beautiful right yeah, play. Took it back to the house. Parker, the back in the backfield, third and six. Grammar to pass, looking right. Ball is battered in the air, picked off. Damian Wilson is tackled at the 27-yard line. The Aaron Cochran with that long wingspan knocked the ball into the air on the uh, pass, and Wilson makes the INT. Cobb, play action, going toward the end zone. Williams is there, got it! Touchdown, Minnesota Golden Gophers. A three-touchdown lead. Well, sometimes we had big games like that. I mean, just getting the rhythm. Sometimes you have to have a 10-yard you know, run or a 20-yard run. You know, you're kind of getting the rhythm. And before you know it, you know, stats are piling up. So, I mean, you really don't keep track of it. But, I mean, the O-line did a great job. And I saw receivers down there. I saw Isaac Freakty on one play when uh, Darnell had a big run. He came down and cracked the safety. So, I mean, guys are giving me effort like that. So, you just really want to run hard for them. I set, Hartman the fullback, Cobb the tailback, in motion is Max Williams. Coming near side, now back to the far side. Hand off again to Cobb, breaks one tackle, inside the five, and into the end zone, touchdown David Cobb. His first touchdown of the season, and the Gophers have a four touchdown lead. In your team, get into a zone, get into a rhythm. You get the first stop, it feels good. Then you get the second stop, it feels good. Force a couple turnovers, and you just run with it from there. One of the hardest things to do in college football is to hold a big lead. I feel like uh, they, they learned a lesson and it's much easier to learn those lessons when you win rather than you blow, a, you blow a large lead and you end up losing the game. So I think the kids will take the lesson out of it that you can't get ahead of yourselves and you still have to go out and finish the job.